Hello everyone and welcome back to Plague Inc. We have our fifth attempt at killing the world with a bacterium. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I did this before. And I guess the trick is to keep it really low key during the early stages. And then ratchet it up to super deadly towards the end. So let's try that. Let's try to just, you know, not even do any infections for, like, the first whatever. No severity at all. Sound like a plan? No? Yeah, probably not. But it could be. Hey game, thanks for telling me I need to pop orange balloons to get points. <sighs> Sounds like a shitty plan. Sorry, did I say that out loud? I didn't mean to. Yeah, so we're just gonna go make it super hard to eradicate, make it super hard to detect. Um probably shouldn't have left that Darwinist gene in there. Oh well. I can devolve and get points. Which is okay. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Posing ever increasing threats. Yeah. Huh. Uh, blood one. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, remember our goal this time is not to be at all like severe and just up our infectivity and then go straight for um straight for total organ failure that's the plan let's see if we can keep it durable shell Absolutely a must. Uh, no. No, thank you. Yeah, I don't want the world to even know there's a disease until... Hey, Ukraine! There's a joke somewhere in there that, you know, Ukraine was the first country to be infected by Russia. I'm not sure what it is, though. Maps. Maps. Disease 12. Spreading, spreading. All this is going great. Let's up our science. Good, good, good. Yep, so far, our disease, our wonderful little disease, has pretty much no severity or lethality, granted. But, you know, you get sick and it, you just walk around. That's it.
you don't get sick and start coughing. You get sick, you don't even know you have the disease. And then all of a sudden one day it's going to flip and everyone with it is going to die. What a weird, weird uh, thing. Yeah, now airplanes can be infected. Our disease with no symptoms is now more infectious than TB. No. Yeah, I guess. Probably shouldn't have done that in hindsight. Oh well. Hindsight, you know, it's 2020. The important thing is that we're about to evolve uh, another plague thing. Ooh, festival of love. Let's have the Festival of Love in Turkey. I'm not sure what the Festival of Love is, but it sounds great. Definitely sounds like a fun time. Oh! People begin worshipping helix fossils. I wonder what that's a reference to. Do you guys know? No? Alright. Pop, pop. Pop. Yeah, so I think this one time we're going to spread this. I feel this strategy might work for us. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. I probably am. But I believe... And right now, no one's even a little bit concerned about our disease existing. Yep. Like, I don't think people even know our disease exists. Some random dudes popped up cyst up on them and then it disappeared. How's the rest of the world looking? So far, so good. Most of the north has fallen. Mm -hmm. Yay. Was this a new location? No. Damn. Good news, we're making inroads into Brazil. South America. Hey, no. I will definitely not tolerate the anemia symptom, okay? It does nothing. But I will buy mosquitoes. Yay. Mosquitoes are great, they'll help us spread in uh, these areas. Hotter areas. The new health lines which make them less vulnerable to disease. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. We'll figure out some other way to... Uh, yeah, are we still getting increasing infected rates? We are. Okay. So it's not that less vulnerable. Yes, I love seeing a sick Greenland. It's beautiful. And no one even knows our disease exists. There we go. There's that problem taken care of. 
Are you going somewhere new? No, Central America. Damn. I love infected boats and planes. They're like, just perfect. Yeah, so we've already infected about, I don't know, 200,000 more people than Ebola did in America. Not to make the comparison, in bad taste. All I'm trying to show is that maybe our panic was a little bit overdone. I don't know. Obviously, if you have a friend or family member that died of Ebola, it's a terrible disease. And you have my sympathy. I just don't think it's going to be the world-ending disease we believed it was going to be for like a week. Or a media cycle, to be more accurate. Time is still ticking, right? Yes, okay. Good news. Hmm. Coughing. I will tolerate coughing. Because coughing is a great symptom. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to devolve that one. And we're just going to walk around with some coughing people. I cough all the time. Nothing wrong with coughing. 36 million people infected. There goes most of Africa. Now we have to start saving up, because in a few weeks, we're going to want to and move up and suddenly make everyone infected have total organ failure, which is perfectly realistic. This game's completely realistic. Everything about this game is realistic. Like, yes, when people get a disease, they are infected until they are cured. And when a new symptom and the disease mutates, it suddenly affects everyone affected, infected with the disease. That's just basic, provable science. Oh good, the US is infected. Most of America is all basically just we have a few holdouts in Africa and yet no one even knows we exist yeah this is the run I'm not gonna touch it because we need to start saving up our points so, because I'm going to do the thing soon. Sneezing. I, I think that's okay. Sneezing's okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, a few other diseases are reporting this. Like, sneezing's good because it really cuts down the amount of time I have to jump. Instead of making two jumps, I just have, or three jumps, I just have to make two. Let's see, Central Africa, how you doing? Good, better, this is what I wanted to see. Right now people don't really care about our disease, that's heartbreaking. 75. The first hundred's always the hardest. After that, things start ticking up really favorably. Especially when I do this. Wait, do I really want to do that? It's 24 points. Eh. You only live once. Especially the people infected with the disease. The completely harmless, non-threatening disease. Yep, we've got a few thousand infected now. And now every tick is like a thousand people. 
except those, but that was four. Nope, undo, please. There we go, yes. Don't need it. It is counterproductive to our goals. Damn it, Brazil. You just had to go and ruin the fun for everyone. Okay, we're almost at a million people. That's good, right? We are on a watch list. Why? We're completely harmless. No one gives a shit about us. the upside, every country is now infected. You were the last. Algeria, you should be lucky. Oh good, we're doing the global cure effort thing. Damn it. Um, well, time to make things tougher for him. Yeah. Too late. Every country is infected. There's a quake in fear, you pitiful fools. That is the only thing you can do right now. Look, every country but Algeria is just a seething mass of red. It's great. My god. What have I done? You're poor, you're arid, and you're hot. Okay. So you should just be blowing up right now. 10 million. Yes, I know we need to evolve to kill. No, get rid of that shit. It's terrible. Trashed here. It does nothing for our infectivity. Nah, actually, we'll keep it. It's too late for them to stop us now. Far too late. It was too late a million victims ago. Or a billion. Yeah, let's get it to five million, then we'll go. Okay. So. Evolve. And then evolve. Fantastic. First death in Algeria. Well, shit. Yeah, a lot of people are dying for some reason. Uh, we just evolved total organ failure. I think our disease is pretty deadly right now. Mm. Killed more than the Black Death. Great. Good. Now we just need to focus on killing everyone. Killed more than the Spanish flu. Wonderful. Hmm, they are focused on the cure, aren't they? But it's too late. It's always been too late. Every tick, a hundred million more people die. Every day. We're at a billion deaths now. You can't win this one, game. Uh. Oh, good, the cure is 50% complete. Glad to hear that. Let me just move the goalpost for you. Keep things running a little bit longer. As the world's population continues to shrivel. Hey, over half of the world's population is dead now. Hmm. Pneumonia symptom mutated. Okay, let's increase infectivity even more. Hell. There we go. I'll just let you all fall into a coma.
less than a billion living people left. Let's just go to speed five, because this is done. Like, yeah. Iceland barely has any people left in it anymore. Six thousand now. Russia's dead. Let's see. How many countries are still alive? Okay, a lot of them are. Like, most of Asia's dead, though. That's impressive. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 50 million left. More countries dying. Iceland's dead. Guess that stops the gear research, right? Oh, no, no. Yeah, everything's fallen, dude. There is no hope of salvation. There are less than 10 million people living in the world today. Most of Europe's gone dark. Parts of... Yeah. Give it a few more ticks. Under 5 billion... million. I'm guessing the last survivor strongholds are gonna be in the Americas. Hmm. Well, let's see. 3 million left. America's dead. Japan is still holding on. Oh, they might be the last survivor country. Hmm. Yep, we are slowly shutting down. Yeah, it's it's done a deal now, isn't it? Canada burns corpses. Well then, I'm sure that will save you in these trying times. Hmm, Korea could be our last surviving state. North Korea, maybe? If so, there will be a very brief span of time where they are the best Korea. Colombia. Good night, Colombia. Uh, Peru... Bolivia. Good night, Bolivia. Good night, Peru. Good night, world. And there we go. That will be an episode. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll try to kill everyone with viruses. Um, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to favorite, or subscribe. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe or favorite. And if you want to leave a comment and tell me how I can do things better, either in the quality of my video, like, for instance, how I can get rid of that annoying hiss, then please leave a comment. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.